Hello everyone, Dynaman217 here. I'm doing my very first Hero Factory review. Yeah, and this time on Mark Surge, which is pretty nice. Yeah. So so I'm gonna go over the can over the canister, okay? By the way, the canister is sort of a uh, play well, by the way, Hero Factory is actually the e official replacement for Bionicle. It says so right there, which I'll get to in a little bit. Yeah. I'm unlike Bionicle, however, I'm play actually play a role for in this. My like two kinds of Bionicle canisters play a role in the story. But anyways, um, we have the. Anyways, here's the first thing. Anyways, let's go over the box, shall we? The top we have Lego Hero Lego Hero Factory. E. Sur Mark Surge. Urge. Yeah. A picture of them. Ages 6 to 16. 7, 1, 6, 9. 69. Mm, yeah. 19 pieces. Building toy. Surge. From the makers of Bionicle. HeroFactory.lego.com. Oh, they're easy to open as well. They're kind of similar to the Stars canisters, except this one, except they don't have the scroll shield up here. The day they have the Hero Factory symbol. Now on the back we have Lego here. They go Hero Factory. Three uh, Surge. Now uh, Mark Surge right here battling Corroder, which I might get. Yeah. The actual size of its mat of his helmet. Helmet. And the price tag's right there. And it also has all this crap. Uh, all this crap. So, well, enough about the caster. Let's go over what's in. Uh, let's go over this uh, the set as well. It's the actual set. Yeah. Okay, here's Mark Surge. Surge when he's built. Yeah. Let's give you a 360. Yeah, I like the blue color scheme. It makes it look very nice. It has this core right there. Like a Hero Factory core. Yeah, the torso is kind of similar to. Yeah. Kind of similar to a Benton Alien Force torso. Yeah. Yeah. Except this piece is removable. Removable. Yeah. Son of a Bullrock! Yeah, looks pretty nice. Torso's kind of similar to a Matoran torso. Yeah. That's several new pieces. The only two old pieces on this are the head um, are the head and hands. Yeah, that is pretty nice though, right? Kind of like an agor. Yeah, okay. nice armor plating right here. Yeah, uh, this piece is pretty nice, isn't it? Also, the foot design is new. Now, that's a very interesting foot design. Can't even bend like that that much. Now, it's kind of, a, of realistic. In a way. And I also like these of his tasers. Which are pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you to death. And take like that. In fact, you could take Damien right here, and he can be a uh, like. Don't tase me, bro. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? Yeah. Yeah, it goes pretty nicely. Oh, but also you can put them in his hands like this. In his hands like this. From his hand like, and like that. Makes it look pretty cool. Or maybe making an electric dew sword. Weird. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, but it still looks pretty good though, right? 
and put them in there like that, like as if they are daggers too. Yeah. Uh, now it's an interesting helmet, Matt. Helmet, you know that? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Look at, and also, there's a classic Iron Man head. Yeah, so. I'm gonna get all the. I'm definitely gonna get all the heroes, as well as the villains. Yeah. These are going to be become very popular pe or characters in Tales of Bionicle. No doubt about it. Anyways, I got to set Target for the same price as the stars. It's pretty good. So this has been my review on Mark Surge. Catch you later. Bye!